So today I'm going to go over how to use the RSS feed to automate posts to your GMB. What I have on the screen right now is two uh, posts to a GMB um, that were both done using um, the RSS feed from a blog to create these two posts. Uh, the difference is obviously you can see a picture versus just a green background with uh, you know, the word garden pruners in it, for example. The one on the left is using an RSS feed that does not uh, include the image URL as part of the feed. Most RSS feeds do not include the image URL. Um, so what it will do is if you use this uh, with an RSS feed that does not include um, the image URL in the feed, uh, it will take the title of your uh, from the post. So it'll take the post title and it'll just type out the words and it'll put it just on a solid color background. So it'll create something that looks kind of like this. And then it'll pull in your title the first so many characters with a um, kind of just the ending dot 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 and then it'll say read the full post here with a link to your post and then the learn more also links to your post so that's how that um, kind of works in general on this side you can see we have an image that was pulled in here uh, i have a wordpress plugin that we'll be um, providing that allows the image url to be included in the rss feed so now you can actually pull in um, when you write a blog post you can add a featured image and that featured featured image um, will be what is pulled in here. You just want to ensure that your featured image is above the 250 by 250 and below the 750 by 750 pixels um, so you don't get any errors with the image uh, not meeting the requirements of the API. Um, so again, the one on the right is with the plugin that we'll um, provide that will allow you to pull the image in. The one on the left is if you are using another RSS feed that does not um, send the image, it'll create just a colored background with the title and then pull it in the same. Anyway, so that's what we're covering today. Um, so the first thing, uh, what I will show you is kind of how to set up this RSS feed plugin, um, just real quick. So what you'll do is you'll go to, um, you know, your WordPress installation. Um, I have a plugin here called SM RSS plugin free. So this is the free version. Um, you'll download that, activate it, and um, once you activate it, you can see here on the side RSS plugin options. Um, so you just click on that, and right here is where you can name your feed. Um, so this one I just called BMFC2, um, but you can you know name it whatever you want. Um, but that'll be the feed URL. So it's going to be your domain backslash feed backslash, and then whatever you put there, that's the RSS feed that you're going to use um, later on. And then the other thing this plugin does is, as you will be, uh, we do do a lot of syndication, um, just in Semantic Mastery in general. This plugin also can use, um, you can add, so you got an HTML box here. So this is HTML that'll go before the feed. So like if you wanted to add links back to different places before your blog post, you can add it here. And this box is for after the blog post. As you can see here, I got spin text in here because it'll spin it so that uh, each time this uh, feed is read, it actually puts different um, links and different attribution links back to the original post so that you don't have C blog dot 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 and then the URL. Sometimes it'll say see the following blog here, see the following blog at this location. The following blog was posted. So you just write spin tax. I'm not going to go into great detail there, but you can write different spin tax here to just control um, the attribution link um, that gets syndicated with your blog. So that's just a bonus with this plugin. Um, but this plugin also will add the image URL to your RSS feed. So once you have that installed, all you need to know now is just you'll need this um, oh, URL. So I'm going to copy that so I can get it later. So let's do copy, put it here on a notepad, control V, backslash feed, backslash BMFC2. So that's just what my feed is. The URL, backslash feed, backslash BMFC2. Okay, so now that I got that copied in the notepad, um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to go to Citation Builder. Um, this process does require um, using Zapier. Uh, I tried it with IFTTT. Um, kept having issues with IFTT uh, not uh, connecting to the webhook correctly. Um, so with this, we're going to use Zapier to do it. So the next step is after you got the plugin set up, you're going to go to um, your auto poster. Here's the dashboard everybody's used to seeing. You're going to go to Settings, RSS Feeds to GMB. Click on that and then select which GMB you want to post to. As you can see, I have several in here, so I'm just going to pick this one, and I'm going to copy that um, 
URL right there. So that's the webhook URL. So what we're going to do is our RSS feed is going to send the data into this um, webhook that's built into the auto poster, which will then create your post for you. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over here, add it to my little notepad here. Okay, so now that I have that copied, the next step is to go into Zapier. So you want to log into Zapier. If you don't have Zapier, create an account. Um, Zapier is a paid service. However, um, they do have a free option. I think you get, I think it's like 20 zaps um, a month. Um, so, you know, the free option will work just fine if you're not, you know, send out more than 20 plus blog posts uh, in a month. Um, but you can, it's fairly inexpensive to use. and It's very powerful if you just get the, you know, smallest plan. But anyway, uh, once you sign to get into Zapier, you're going to go up, hit make a zap. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a zap that goes from our RSS feed as a trigger. So let's do RSS feed. We're going to pick feed. Let's do this. RSS. There we go. RSS by Zapier. Just like that. When there's a new item in our feed, save. Next step is now it's asking for the feed URL. So I'm going to go back over to my notepad, grab the RSS feed that I copied, copy, and paste. So there's my, that's the RSS feed I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to scroll down, just leave everything else the same, hit continue. And then scroll down again, just kind of click through here, hit continue. Make sure there's at least one thing done. So for this to work, you at least have had to have a blog post that was posted um, using the plugin. So once you uh, install the plugin, go ahead and um, publish a blog post so that then Zapier can read it and pull in the data so that you can set the rest of this up. So I've already, you know, have one published. So I'm going to say fetch and continue. What it's doing now is it's going out and reading the RSS feed. So then you can map it here in a minute. So the test is successful. Um, so you can see here if I hit view your item, you can see the data that it pulled in. You know, so it's pulled in the link to the uh, URL, the description, the, um, there's the, here's the image URL. So it pulls in this image URL, so I can use that as my image URL into the GMB post and then the content and those things. But anyway, that's, so that's what it pulls in. So after you do that, just hit continue, and that sets up the trigger for the RSS feed and what gets pulled in. So the next step, you're going to set up a webhook. Okay, webhooks by Zapier. And then you're going to do a post. So we're going to do post, scroll down, and save and continue. So the next thing here is this is the URL that we're going to be sending our data to. So what that is, that's this webhook here. So this webhook that I, let me see, I've got a copy. And this is, you get this from the Citation Builder. So you copy that URL to post into, hit paste. Okay, once you do that, okay, you're going to go into here to this uh, payload type. You're going to select and hit the JSON. And then here, this is the data that you're going to be sending to Citation Builder. So I've got a notepad here. These are the fields you're going to want to add. So entry URL. So let's copy that, paste. Let's add another one. Let's do entry image URL. So copy, paste. Add another one. Entry title. And add the last one here is the entry content. See, so these are the four things that we're going to be sending in. So once we have those set, now we want to map what we're doing. What you do is you hit here, and you can see this is the entry URL. So this is the link to my blog post, which is right here. So I map that to that. Now we want the entry image. So now I'm going to click here. I'm going to go down and find the image. Let's see. Okay, here's the image URL. So we're going to click the image URL. And then we're going to hit enter the title. Okay, so here's our title. And then for the content, go through here. Scroll down so we can see it. Oop. Content. And you can either pick content or description. Uh, either one doesn't really matter. Um, if you, you know, hold over here, it'll pop up and show you what it is. Um, but the way we have this set, it's only going to pull in about the first 250 characters of your blog post and then kind of end it with the dot 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 and read more here with the link. Um, so I just, you know, I'm going to pick description and it shows you what it's going to pull in. Like I said, it'll it'll truncate this um, for you. And then the next thing here, 
Okay, so you leave all this the same and you hit continue. And then here's this, uh, so here's what it's going to pull in. So it's going to pull in the URL. Um, is, this is where it's going to send the data. So this is the URL from the um, auto poster. This is the webhook URL. So this is this RSS feed to GMB. This URL you copied here. That's what you'll see here. It's a JSON. And then here's what it's going to map. So for entry image URL, here's the URL it's pulling in, which is my um, picture. For the title, there's the title it's pulling in. Here's the content it's pulling in. And then here's the link to um, the blog post that's being pulled in. So, I mean, this is just where you can kind of double check that. Um, so that works. You can hit send test to webhooks by Zapier. Um, what that'll do is it'll actually send this blog post to that GMB. Um, I'm not going to do that now because I've already done that. I don't want to post the same thing twice. Um, so if I did hit send test, what you would end up seeing on your GMB is this here would get pulled in and um, posted to your GMB. So here's the title on this particular one. It was the, this Cutco Fishing Knife, um, which if you're in the market for a knife, these are some crazy knives, but that's a whole side story. <laughs> but um, so here's the title. Here's an entry image URL. Um, so this is what the image gets pulled in from the feature post. You can see it pulls in the content, but it only pulls in so many characters and it leaves kind of the little, you know, more dot, dot, dot type thing, like there's more to come. And then it adds read full post, link to your post, and then the button links to your post as well. Um, so it's as simple as that um, to be able to do these. And now what happens is, let me close this. So we have that done. I'm going to skip the test. I'm going to hit finish. And now you can name your zap. So let's just say RSS feed to GMB post. Um, you can put it in a folder if you want and then turn that zap on. So now what's going to happen is every 15 minutes, um, Zapier is going to go check your RSS feed. And if there's a new entry into your RSS feed, it will pull that information, um, map it to the um, fields that we have just mapped, and it will create a GMB post uh, on your GMB that matches up to that RSS feed. And again, I'll show you what they'll look like. So here's the one. If you don't have the image URL, you can just skip that piece and it will literally pull it in just like this. Everything else is the same, except since there's no image, it'll just put the title. It'll um, type out the title with a solid background. If you do use the plugin that we'll provide, um, just to, you know, to throw it in there so that we can do images and make these even better, here's the image that gets pulled in from the featured image post. Um, and then it adds the title, the information like we showed, and then a link to the post. Um, so that's all there is to it. That's how you're able to now, based on just using your RSS feed and your blog syndication that a lot of us do already um, when we're doing blog posts and syndicating that content, now you can actually use that RSS feed to syndicate the same content and feed your GMB post um, to continually keep adding posts to your GMB and to keep that activity. So hope that was helpful. Um, again, thanks for uh, tuning in.